Do you remember the first time? <laughs> you get something that you're not supposed to get. Like you're supposed to get something like uh, Jordans, but <laughs> you you get it earlier. Yeah. So what did, what does it feel? Feels so good. <laughs> yeah, that's what it feels like. Feels so good when you get something. She said it felt so good. That's what she said. <laughs> What's up guys, it's your boy Shellshock from City USA Made for All Drive Racing Squad and I'm a teacher here in Noob Works. Before I start my video, I want to say shout out to Young Clothing. If you are into 90s Filipino clothing theme, Young Clothing, I got the link in the description below. Also, I want to say shout out to High Speed Matrix Oil and also Matrix Power Cleaner. Alright, they're both available with these two big bottles right here. If you guys are interested, I got a link in the description below. And also, it's also available with this small bottle right here. High Speed Matrix Oil and Power Cleaner. And that all said, we got without any more blob. Today, we are going to unbox the Neo Vanquish. So, here's the front look of the box of the Neo Vanquish, aka Neo VQS. It's equipped with VC chassis. It is a very elegant box as you can see there's the colorway red and black with very nice features there's the screaming busy chassis on the side of the box and it's more detailed and i think it's more specific right see you can see all the stuff that inside the box so when you're buying you can take a look at the side of the box as usual and it will tell you what's in it here is the other side of the box which the same as the front it is VQS VC chassis and the item number right there. And at the other side, this is mostly Japanese, but there's English in there. And what surprised me, it's made in Japan. And you can see the date that was released, it's 2020. We are thankful that we got this early before it was released. Shout out to the one who hooked us up. Thank you so much. And again, right there, it's better look. It's 2020. And it's made in Japan. It's not made in the Philippines. And here are the stuff that's inside. You see that? A B. All right. So now let's open this. There you go. That's the first look inside. All right. So this is the VZ chassis. And it is ABS plastic black. As you can see, it's on the top. There's with the arrow that says ABS. So this is the chassis that's equipped with ABS chassis. And I'm pretty sure Tamiya will do something about this. They will probably make a reinforced one or a carbon one. But for now, it is ABS. Pretty much like when Rowdy Bull came out with the FMA chassis. It's noticeable that there's um, the wing is very lightweight and the body is very lightweight. And what noticeable thing is the front bumper is I that's the detachable part so it's shorter when you take a look at it you'll be wondering when you buy this you'll be like where you put the roller you'll be surprised the bumper is detachable but you can see at the right side there is the motor catch and the gear cover and the body catch lock right there and the switch and right now you can see the front and the rear detachable bumpers which is i think is very durable and these are the 14 millimeter polyoxymethylene rollers which is low friction rollers and these are the battery lock and the front catch switch lock and here's the a part which is black colorway and we're going to take a look, closer look with this this is the front and the rear bumper and i think tamia will as i've said will do a reinforced one they will probably put it on a kit or a special kit kit or put it on a separate packaging and how they sold parts separately i think they're gonna make this chassis durable carbon reinforced or fluorescent even fluorescent they will do 
This kit is also equipped with the polyoxymethylene bushings, which is low friction bushings. And they actually say on the top over there, POM, that means polyoxymethylene for the bushings. Which is very good for box stock racing or pro stock racing because it's low friction. Neo Vanquish is also equipped with a small diameter slick tires. These are low profile small diameter slick tires, which is very soft in my opinion. And it's, you know, it's just a typical uh, tires. I wish they made it super hard, but you know, it's only the first release. So usually the first release, as you can see, it is very soft and slick. So usually first releases are just an ordinary slick tire which is very bouncy in my opinion and it gets the job done and its wheels are like small diameter red wheels which is five spoke plastic wheels um it's very stylish it's plastic again they can do better but on first releases of chassis usually they don't give it all up so they just have the plastic so this plastic wheels is i mean it's good for box stock and um Pro stock and super stock, I think. But they can do better, in my opinion. But Tamiya for sure will not go out with this new release kit. As you can see, we have this typical washers, roller screws, gear shaft, and uh, pinion gear, which is surprisingly is a carbon pinion gear. So sometimes Tamiya will throw something like that on a first release kit, which is carbon pinion gear, which is really good. And for your gear ratio, you have the 351 Super Speed Gear Set, which is awesome. The blue, pink, and yellow gear ratio. For your terminals, you have your typical copper terminal. And for your propeller shaft, you have the 1.4 millimeter propeller shaft, which is you can use for VS chassis too. And for your wheel shaft, you have a 60 millimeter stainless steel wheel shaft, which is pretty standard when it comes to kits. Um, the gear, I mean, the grease over here, I think the packaging is a little bit small, but for your 130 motor right here, it's a stock motor. It's a single shaft stock motor because it's a single shaft chassis. So nothing special. It's the same single shaft motor. Besides, it is a Mabuchi motor, single shaft motor right there. It's Mabuchi. Moving on, here's your body shell. This is the spoiler of the Neo Vanquish. It's very nice. It is an ABS plastic material, but that's a spoiler. And this is the front notch that you put in the front of the chassis to hook the body up. Very nice. And also here's the actual body shell. So you can see it is very, very familiar. It looks like the Zenquish and the Vanquish without the fangs right there on the side but you know what kit is related as you can see it's screaming abs right there tommy is actually putting the names now it's actually screaming abs on that side and if you look at it really really close it really looks like a vanquish or a zanquish body shell and i love those body shells so i'm really excited to modify this kit Ooh, so slick the stickers is a reflective sticker, as you can see. It's red, silver, a little bit copperish colorway with v VQS. It's very nice. It's like a foil. It's VC chassis on the side over there, and it's really nice. You guys are gonna love this kit. It's so it's just refreshing to see how nice this kit is. So all in all, I think it's really really good. So there you go. Thank you so much for the hookup. Um, you know who you are. Shout out for the hookup. That's why I got the early release of this and I'm so happy that I got it. So obviously this Neo VQS or Neo Vanquish um, kit is uh, blueprinted from a BS chassis Vanquish. That's why they're both related and I'm very happy about it. And it's totally an upgrade. The, the technology with Mini 4 Wheel Drive is evolving throughout the years and... I think the collectability value of this kit is um, it's not going to be that high because um, resellers, it won't be too expensive. Because uh, remember when Rowdy Bull came out for the FMA chassis and they made a lot of that, like a lot. So they're making those as prices to races and also um, they're everywhere. So everybody's using it when, it when it came out. They were so excited because it looks like a Camaro. So basically that's what's going to happen in this kit.
on my opinion everybody will be liking it because it's new and they will be releasing a lot of kits like this due to this new chassis uh, i think it will be good for uh for box stock races as long as you don't overpower it because just holding the chassis it's very light especially on high speed box stock races i think it will be good especially if they actually make a kit that is like have a big uh, diameter wheels for now it's small but i know tamiya is good at like making a lot of kits and they're gonna make a big big uh wheels i think and that will be good for um for a uh, high speed uh box stock races and i think the it will be a lot faster than the vs for box stock because there's no o-rings on the rollers also i think it will be good for basic tune class if you do it right and um i think it will be good for um modified tune class too because it's it's really light so you can actually modify the chassis and use tune motors i think that would be awesome some people will might probably think it will be good for uh T-Max stock, which is good in the Philippines, uh, Tamiya Asia Cup stock, which is the category that is big in the Philippines now. Also, for open class racers, I think this will be good. You can be creative with this one because there's a lot of changes on the chassis, even though it's blue printed with a VS. There's a lot of, like, the adaptability of this chassis is crazy because there's a lot of holes. And also, um, I think... It would be great because it's lightweight like for me i don't think i would freaking chop this like crazy anymore because it's already chopped because of the bumper but we'll talk about that more on my next video because i'm gonna continue my chassis series and obviously we have a new chassis which is the vz chassis and we are gonna feature this chassis i'm gonna actually gonna build it and go throughout all the stats on it we're gonna go deeper about it but for now i unboxed this car and all in all i think it's a good kit i don't think it's just gonna be like super expensive though because I know there's going to be a lot of these. But I know this is really hyped a lot. Especially last year. And um, I'm just happy that it's also made in Japan. So the, even the quality of the box I think is a little bit better. I'm not, I'm not burning the Philippine made ones. But this one's actually made in Japan as I said earlier. So I like the quality of this kit. They actually... Tamiya did it right this time. And they actually... Um, made it from japan it's not from the philippines or other countries asian countries out there all right so um that's it for your that's it for now for the neo vqs and just continue um following me and don't forget to subscribe and like or if you don't like this video just like um if you have this kit already what are your what are your thoughts give us a hit and a comment um yeah, so this is Shell Shock from CTUSA Mini 4 Wheel Drive Racing Squad, and I'm a teacher here in New Brooks. And I, as I always say, we learn from you, you learn from us. Always race humble. Peace.